the stories uh, of survivors are, are extremely <laughs> important this year, but I would say their journeys, their unique and special journeys are important because people need to know why should it matter? Why should it matter to them? All right, we know the numbers are are terrible. Lung cancer kills more than breast, prostate, colon, pancreatic combined. Those are bad. But if you don't believe that that can happen to you, bad things happen all over the world every day. But if it doesn't seem like it is personal to you, if it doesn't seem like it, like it really invades your community, people don't do anything about it. And so with lung cancer, the stories of journeys of our survivors are how they actually connect with the communities. And how they connect with the communities are so important for someone believing it can happen to them. So what matters is not their lung cancer journey, but the journey that is their life. They're not just a number. They're a person. And we've got to make sure that people can see that. Because they're not going to care about lung cancer. They're not going to do that. What they're going to care about is people. And so our biggest message besides changing the face of lung cancer, is that we are not fighting against lung cancer. We're fighting for people. My wish for them uh, would, would be that they are, they are absolutely empowered with information so they know all the resources that are there. It doesn't mean, it doesn't mean it's all going to work. All right, We know that, but that you know all the information, that you have a great relationship with your primary care doc, your medical oncologist, your radiation oncologist, whatever those people are, and that you feel comfortable that you know where you stand, right? But then the other side is that you have a tremendous group of people, people that aren't gonna just look at you like you're cancer, like you're gone, like that you're, that you're one of a, you're a number, but that you have people around you that realize that you're still alive, you're still here, and um, you know, every day that you are, is, is a, it's, it's a blessing every day. So how do we make sure we enjoy it? With all of this craziness that is cancer, we still have to make sure that we enjoy it. Otherwise, cancer already got you. And we can't let that happen. If it does, it, you know, it will. But until it does, we have to make sure we continue living. When we started out, it was absolutely important for us to identify our survivors and, and, and realize it's very difficult to be a, an advocate. It's very difficult to want to stand up. And uh, you possibly don't know what to do. And so you, you don't just raise your hand. You don't just run out there. Some people are going to, but, but they need help and they need support. And so you can't look at somebody and think that there's no way that they're going to be an advocate. There's no way that they're going to want to do more until you build a relationship with them. And so that's what we've been committed to doing through Team Draft is building a relationship with our survivors and walking with them and realizing that just because they start at this point doesn't mean that later on they're not going to want to do more. Uh, the other side is, building relationship with our cancer centers. Uh, cancer centers that might have wanted to do something with lung cancer, they might be hesitant because they don't have a spokesperson. And so they're waiting. And when they get that spokesperson, they're gonna have a chance to do more. So how do we make sure our survivors realize that they're actually key to making it where their cancer center can do more? So you can't sit, on, you know, can't sit back and say, why does my cancer center do more? Why don't they do more? Well, they probably need you they need somebody. They need a person that will stand up and show people what lung cancer looks like if they're, able, if they're going to be able to do more. And so uh, it really allows us to, to activate where potentially there wasn't something going on, where there, there was a lack of awareness, but it really just required building a relationship with a survivor, building a relationship with a cancer center, and bringing them together. And then all of a sudden you have a huge amount of awareness.